In my first video on the three point dolly, we needed a bankroll of almost $1,000 to have a 99% chance of surviving for 10 shooters. Today, I'll show you a modification that brings that bankroll needed down to just $600. And still, it wins more often than it loses. The aim of the three point dolly is to make a don't pass bet and two don't come bets until you have covered three numbers. You can optionally lay odds up to the table maximum, but in this video we'll be managing the bankroll by laying only single odds. The modification we'll make is that if any of the don't come bets get knocked off, we won't replace them. But we will replace the don't pass bets whenever that's needed. This will limit the total outlay per shooter, and that's what's going to reduce the overall bankroll requirement. Generally, when you're laying single odds, you need to lay enough to be able to win the table minimum. So when the point is a 4 or 10, the odds bet will pay 1 to 2, which is the true odds of the dice with no house edge. So to win 15, you'll lay 2 times that, or $30. The 5 and 9 pay 2 to 3, so to win 16, you lay 24. These are rounded up since the casino only deals with exact change. The 6 and 8 pay 5 to 6, so to win $15, you lay $18. Let me demonstrate the strategy by running through a couple shooters. We'll start off by making a don't pass bet, which loses to the 7 on the come out. Twice, not a great start. Two craps, the don't pass wins. Six, two, eight, we finally have a point. Now we lay odds and make the first don't come bet. Four, one, five, the don't come moves behind the five. We lay odds and make another don't come bet. 538, the shooter hits the point. We lose the don't pass and the don't come moves behind the eight. Now in this case, I have it programmed to not lay odds until the point is set. That's just the way I ran the simulation as I'm trying to lower the necessary bankroll. You can debate that in the comments. 527, we lose the don't pass on the come out but get paid on the five and eight. We'll replace the don't pass. 426, the shooter sets their second point. We lay odds and make a don't come bet. 538, the don't come moves behind the eight. And the first shooter sevens out. The don't come loses, but everything else is gonna win. And we ended that shooter up $28. Our second shooter is coming out. Easy 4 sets the point, and we lay odds and make the don't come bet. Hard 6. Yo 11 means we lose the come bet. Notice we're not making another come bet since that one lost. Another yo. 4 one, 5. And there's the seven out. We win 60 total on that hand and we end that shooter up $73. I think that's enough demo. Let's go ahead and run the simulation. I'll run 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters each. Let's see what happens. The total throws was 8.5 million, which averages to 85 throws per session. There was $119 million bet with 56 million won and $57 million lost. The difference between these is 791,000 and that leads to a very low house edge of just 0.663%.
Let's see how the players did on a per shooter basis. These simulated players played through 1 million shooters. Here's how they did. Almost 60% of the players won money and nearly 3% broke even. Together, that's 62.6%. And of course, the players lost money on the other 37.4% of the shooters. Let's see how much they won or lost. The most a player lost for any one of the million shooters was $414, while the most won was $180. Here's the histogram. The bins here are $50 wide. Almost 47% broke even or won up to $50. That's by far the most frequent outcome. Nearly two in three ended between plus and minus $50. 89% ended plus or minus $100. And 98% won or loss up to $150. But those results are on a per shooter basis. Let's see how our shooters did over a session of 10 shooters. Just barely over 50% of the sessions ended with the player having won some money. Another small amount broke even. And 49.7% lost money over the session. For the house to make money, those players would have to lose more than the winners would win. Let's see how much they won or lost. The maximum lost was $986, while the maximum won was $755. Here's the histogram. The bins this time are $100 wide. The middle group is 38.7%. They ended the session having won or lost $100 or less. As I expand out the highlighted area, you can see that the distribution is slightly lopsided towards the left. That's that small house edge coming into play and causing slightly more losses than wins when you're looking at it by dollar amount. Now let's see what type of bankroll we might need. This is a chart of each player's bankroll at its worst over the session. Three of 100,000 players never fell below their original bankroll. Just over half never fell $200 below their original bankroll. 90% never fell $400 below their original bankroll. And 99% never fell below $700. Let's do a quick recap and see how we did. We simulated 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters each. The overall results showed a very low house edge of 0.663%. Over 50% of the sessions ended by breaking even or winning money, while 49.7% lost. The middle 50% of outcomes range between a loss of $137 to a win of $130 and the middle 90% of outcomes ranged from a loss of almost $350 to a win of just over $300. And players with a bankroll of $609 survived 10 shooters in 99% of the sessions. Compare these results with the variation that replaces the combats if they get knocked off in my first video on the 3-point dolly, which is linked right here. Thanks for watching and good luck at the tables.